Hi, my name is Dan Pelton and I'm an automation engineer at Kendall Electric. And I'm here today to talk to you about flashing firmware for your Logix controllers using the Control Flash program. We'll walk through the steps to download, install, and perform the firmware upgrade procedure along with some helpful tips we've learned along the way. By the end, you'll be confident in performing a firmware upgrade using Control Flash. Our first step is to download the firmware for our Rockwell controller. We can go to the webpage rockwellautomation.com and choose Downloads. From here under the Downloads section, we can choose to Find Downloads. And in today's example, we're going to be flashing the firmware of a 5069 L340 ERM. We're going to choose to flash to version 33.011. And then we can choose to go to the Downloads. In the available downloads, I can choose which files. I can choose just the firmware version and then go to my cart and proceed with the download by choosing Download Now. Once I review the software end user's license agreement, I can accept the terms and then choose which download method. One important note to mention about the direct download option is that some web browsers have been known to change the firmware kit to a zip extension. This can be resolved easily by renaming the extension to .dmk in File Explorer. Today I'm going to be using the Manage Download. This installs a Rockwell Automation Download Manager which allows me to pause and resume the download if necessary. The next step will be to utilize Control Flash to actually perform the flash procedure. Here is the welcome screen and you can see the different steps necessary to utilize Control Flash. Also available here is a view log button that displays the log information with date, time, and transaction. Next is the view inventory button that displays the firmware releases that are currently installed. And finally, there is a selection to choose your default communication software, either RS Links Classic or Factory Talk Links. I can choose Next. Note that there are two selections for Compact Logics 5380, either the part number specifically or the family of products. Today, because it's a newer firmware version, I'm going to choose the family of Compact Logics 5380. Another important button on this page is the Browse button. This defines the folder locations that Control Flash searches for the firmware files. Earlier, when the firmware file was downloaded from the Rockwell website, this was stored into the Downloads RA folder for Control Flash to find. Now I can choose the path to the controller. I'm connected up via USB. So choosing my controller here and selecting OK, I'm prompted with which version of firmware do I want to upgrade. Here you can see all the ones that I have installed on my computer. So I'm going to choose 33.011 and choose Next. Here it indicates that the current revision is 1.063 and the new revision will be 33.011. It is very important to put the controller into program mode before proceeding with the flash. This is accomplished by either changing the thumb switch or changing the key switch to program mode. So now I can choose finish and confirm updating of the target device. There is a note that if the SD card contains firmware and the controller is rebooted, this firmware process may be reverted to what's on this SD card. We will continue.
At the end, Control Flash will provide an update status. The current revision is now 33.011, and the update is complete. As you've witnessed, Control Flash is a very straightforward program and easy to use. Recently, Rockwell Automation introduced Control Flash Plus that makes this even easier by automatically downloading the firmware files for you. Thank you for watching today's video. If you would like more information on today's topic, please contact your Kendall Electric Account Manager or Automation Specialist. You can also visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location near you. Look for my next video introducing Control Flash Plus in our Kendall Electric YouTube channel. Thank you and see you on our next Kendall Quick Connection.